dear ones, it's Hannah. So I wanted to share with you today the last portion of my Beyond Quantum Healing Swap session with my dear friend and fellow practitioner, Angie Dollar of Arizona. In this part of the session, we learned all kinds of cool things about a little bit about the virus, about why we're here, um, about the veil that we come through and um, live within, like the the forgetting of who we really are and why that happens, um, as well as how and why we choose our lives. So I hope you enjoy. Is there going to be a certain percentage of people um, leave their physical body because of this virus, what we would consider dying from this virus? Is there going to be a large uh, potential of a large amount of the inhabitants of Earth leaving their physical bodies? People that are choosing to leave are are doing so um that has always been the plan for them and they are largely going on to help uh, this ascension process from the other side having the fact that they've been embodied during part of it will give them greater perspective and alignment with being able to help others who are still embodied at this time and who will need or be seeking their help at points in the future. So are, uh, are we some of those? We were already masters, so we decided to come in here and, and have this experience after already being masters, or is this kind of a graduation of becoming more of a master, or, or what's, what's our situation of coming in here? Why come in here? <laughs> It's, it is all. You have been masters and ascended masters many times. And no matter how much you learn and grow, there's always more to learn and grow from and through. And it is funny. We, we recognize the comical nature of the veil and how strange it must be to embody and forget all that you know and all that you are and this huge truth of the expansion and expansiveness and beauty of who you are in order to be in this simulation, if you will, and its inherent challenges. But you are these amazing, expanded, divinely wise beings and you've just forgotten and the, the growth and the joy is in reconnecting with and remembering or re-remembering who you are and what your power is, that you have this power. And in relearning how to embody it and create what you wish for, you are continuing to master these things for if you had already mastered them completely then they would not be challenges is there a reason that we go under this veil the veil allows for greater levels of expansion because when you forget the deeper truths of who you are it allows for the connection of you with your inner truth and the questioning of that and it allows for the narrative that society has given you to work within which further helps you question your truth but ultimately you're all coming back to a place of aligning with your core essence and truth and the bigness of who you are and re-embodying that, re-remembering as you go through this process is part of the soul growth experience. It aligns you with it on an even deeper level. So as we move from this state to the higher state of ascension, do we have to go back to a third dimensional reality at some point go back under a veil at some point do we have to go back asleep at some point 
Are you asking about within this lifetime, or do you mean, mean, mean in other in lifetimes? Other lifetime, yes. In another lifetime or another state of existence. You do not ever have to choose any of those things, but you do have the opportunity to choose. Because remember, every lifetime is just an opportunity for your soul to play within a different paradigm if you will, or truth of existence. And you learn different things from all of the different simulations you play within or lifetimes you play within. And so you will not be forced to go back to a third dimensional existence, no. But you will have the opportunity if you wanted to, to do that. Some people believe that in between lives, there are some entities there that seem like loving light beings who say, oh, you messed up some on earth. It'd be good to go back. And so they feel like they get stuck in this reincarnation cycle that they really don't want to be in. Is that true? There's a level of truth to that, yes. Your guidance team works with you to choose between lives where and when you will next incarnate for your greatest soul growth. If you had a lifetime where you skirted many of your lessons, for example, it's likely that you would be encouraged to enter into a life where you could repeat many of those lessons and give yourself another chance to learn them. However, you're not forced into this situation. You choose. You may choose under guidance, but there is no force involved. Ultimately, it is your decision. From that higher higher perspective, perspective, oftentimes people do end up choosing to go back and relearn or uh, re-engage with those lessons in the hopes that they will learn their way through them and that is how you transcend the experiences by understanding and embracing and transcending the lessons themselves so we always have a choice and if we are in between lives we can say no i'm I'm going up i'm going this other route i'm not going back down there to third dimensional reality to learn i choose to learn on a a higher, more ascended level. Is that correct? Yes, always. And many times people do that. However, it is also very common that people will every now and then dip into a lower vibrational lifetime because the contrast from the higher dimensional perspective is very exciting. It's very enlightening, if you will. And it, it still gives a greater breadth of perspective that allows you to also understand and appreciate the, the lightness and ease and joy amidst lifetimes. However, sometimes it's harder to appreciate those if you have not had that experience of the heavier, darker lifetimes. I thought that that information was so juicy and wonderful, and I love listening to it. I just keep listening to it over and over, so I hope you enjoyed it too. My name is Hannah Fogg. I'm a Beyond Quantum Healing practitioner in the state of Maine in the United States, and I get to see people all over the world through the wonders of the internet. So I'm going to list my website below, and if you would like to reach out to have a session, please do. I would love to talk to you. Okay. Bye.